Hey guys, Craig with HowToPest.com. Today we're going to show you an awesome product called the Gopher Hawk. This is an alternative to poison for gophers and those traps that get your fingers too close to the snares and take a chance of poking you and not the gopher. We're going to show you what it looks like when it gets shipped to your house from How to Pest right out of the box. So let's get started. You've seen the outside of the box. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and show you what you have inside. Inside the trap, let's put it on the ground here. You're going to have the instructions packet, which is kind of be kind of like what we're telling you today and showing you how to use it. You're going to have the actual uh, trap itself with the spring. You're going to have the wedge, which is going to help you poke the hole open to set the trap in, and we'll show you this. And you're going to have the probe, which is going to help you poke into the tunnel system and figure out where that active tunnel is. So let's get started with our gopher uh, mound that we have right here. We pulled out the probe itself. I'm going to give you a little trick. What I like to do on gopher jobs is I like to spread the dirt out. And the reason you're doing this is so that the dirt doesn't cave in on you when you're going to set the actual wedge in there and then the trap itself. So now that we have it flat, you're going to take this probe and you're going to poke. And what will happen is we're on it right there. It's going to kind of cave in versus going over here and it's kind of stuck a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. And then you go over here and it's more of just solid dirt. Let's see if we can find you a good one. So there's a good one right there. So now that we have this, I like to move the dirt around it again. The great thing about this gopher hawk is you don't have to break out the shovel and tear up your yard. So now that we've gone ahead and we've probed the actual tunnel, you're going to take the wedge itself, kind of spread this open a little bit, Put the wedge, put the uh, probe back in the wedge. Take the wedge and poke it in like this. Once you get it down in there, pull the wedge out slowly so the dirt doesn't cave in. Take your, your actual gopher hawk trap itself. The yellow is an indicator that it's sprung and you have something in the trap. This is what it's going to kind of look like as you push it in. When you place the trap into the hole itself, push down till you feel it hit the ground level. Do not push on this top thing. Just hold it for support and lift this until it locks into place. You're good to go. This thing is set and it's ready to catch that gopher. When it springs up, like I said, you'll see the yellow and that shows that you have a catch in the trap. We usually like to leave these in the ground for anywhere from three to five days. If you don't have any activity in three to five days, it's probably not an active tunnel and it's time to move on somewhere else. Another quick tip, if you have multiple mounds all over your yard, the best thing to do is to go throughout the yard and knock down all the mounds and then wait for the next day for a fresh mound so you're only treating that active mound. Other than that, you're good to go. The Gopher Hawk's a simple trap to use. If you have any questions, go ahead and get a hold of us at howtopest.com. We're going to come back with the second part of this and show you a catch in the trap a few days later. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, we're back at the uh, job where we set the Gopher Hawk trap. It's the next day, um, and we're going to show you how this thing works after you've made a catch. So as you can tell by the yellow on here, if the camera can see that, that is the gopher hawk telling you that you have something in the trap. You could have the trap where it got sprung and not have something, but it's highly unlikely. So once you see that yellow, you're good to go. So you come back over here, you pull up on your trap, which this seems like it's a big gopher from the way this thing's pulling out. And there we go. There's your catch, guys. To release the gopher, you're just going to push like this. It's going to come out of the trap. You're going to put your stuff back in place like that. Let your lawn regrow. We're going to, just for uh, filming purposes, we're going to take this one away. It's my uh, friend's lawn, and I don't know if he wants me to leave the gopher. But usually what you do is you put that gopher of your own lawn back in the hole, and it's actually going to help the grass grow back <laughs> even better. It ends up becoming like a fertilizer. So we're going to take this guy. We're going to put him in the bag here, and then we're just going to dispose of him. Um, the gopher hawk is a great alternative to poisons. So if you're worried about wildlife or pets, then I would definitely recommend the gopher hawk. If you have a large area, the gopher hawk, one of them is not going to be enough. So you're going to have to go from there. But other than that, 
Okay, the gopher hawk, I would recommend if you have a good size lawn, I would recommend you get two to three of these things, then you have a good arsenal. And if you wash these things when you're done and put them away, these things will last you for years to come. Like I said, great alternative to poison, but there is that need for poison if you just have too big of an area. But definitely not if you're trying to keep uh, wildlife or pets away. Go with the gopher hawk. Thank you.